Hello everyone, this is Andrew with Cooper Music Service <clears throat> coming to you with another tutorial. Uh, this one uh, is, is called uh, Not the Time Nor the Place by uh, uh, Marvin Sapp. Uh, it was a uh, request by one of the, uh, one of the, one of the uh, I don't know if one of the uh, comments in the videos and I said I would do it. Uh, you know, if you have any other uh, requests, go ahead and put them in the comments and uh, I could try my best to get to it all right so like as I always start off with a word of prayer um lord thank you we glorify we honor you lord god for you are worthy and worthy to be praised lord lead us and guide us today on this uh, beautiful day it is lord god uh, help us grow our gifts lord god let this tutorial uh be a help to somebody we glorify you we honor you in jesus name amen and amen all right so um, I'm going to go through um, the tones as I always and then then I'll, I'll teach uh, by progression. Alright, so the um, the scale of the song is going to be in A flat. Okay. So, uh, that, that being said, A flat being the 1, B flat being the 2, C being the three, uh, C sharp being the four, E flat being the five, F being the six, G being the seven, and uh, A flat being the eight. Okay, so one chord. Um, there's, there's a chord, and make sure hey, make sure you have your pencil and paper out. That way you can be writing this down. I teach like this because. Um, it's kind of annoying for me to go over chords and while I'm teaching the progression. So I I'll give you the chords first, then I teach the progression and you choose, and that's where you can put um can put the chords in. Uh for me, when I was learning, once I started doing things that that way and I started understanding what chords go on which tone usually, that's when I started uh advancing as a musician, okay? So one chord, okay? We're going over the one chord. Okay, so you can use this chord. <coughs> and in your left hand, it's going to be A flat, E, e flat. And your right hand, you're going to have A, I mean G, A flat, C, and E flat. Okay? Now, if you don't want to do that chord, uh, you can always do this chord and just have A flats in your left, or you can keep. I kind of like to keep this <coughs> this power chord in my right hand here. Okay. Uh, another chord that you can also do, and it's in, just pretty much in, in a different inversion, is this chord here. So in your left hand, you got. A flat, E flat, and A flat. In your right hand, you got E flat, A flat, and C. Okay. All right. Okay. So then, now we're gonna go to our two tone. There's a couple of chords that we can use on our two. Okay. So this is gonna be first. <coughs> this is gonna be your minor nine. In your left hand, you have B flat, F, and A. In your right hand, you have C sharp, F, A flat, and C. Okay? Um, the next chord that you can do on here is this one right here. Now, if you want this to beef up, you can keep the power chord of B flat, F, and A flat in your left hand. And you can just put, put that up here. If you want to beat that up. So, anyways, let's take it back down here. Um, you have B flat in your left. F, A flat, B flat, D flat. Okay? And then there's another chord. Oh, let, me, let me hold on to that right quick. Let me write you right down. Okay, 
So there's, a, there's a, another chord. You will still have this power chord, B flat, F, and A. And you will have, you have that chord there. You have uh, just a B regular, a B major 9. And that consists of uh, D, F, A flat, and B. Okay, now the three. The three is a couple of chords you can use, which is going to be C. And first, you can use the the uh, this uh, the one chord. Uh, the one chord. Okay, so let me go over inversions real quick. This is going to be a first inversion, second inversion. No, root first. No, third inversion. I'm sorry. Okay, first inversion, second inversion, third. Okay. Okay, so I think, if I remember correctly, root, first, second. If I remember correctly. But this is just really all inversions. This is really all it is. So, you can use this inversion, A flat, C, and E flat. This inversion, C, E flat, A flat. And this inversion, E flat, A flat, and C. Okay? So, uh, another thing that you can do is while you have your uh, your uh, C's on, C's in your left hand and octaves, you can add the uh, A. And then you can add the full. So right now is this A flat, C, and E. And you can also add the full. That kind of gives it a more more um um more fuller sound okay so and this you hit this with your pinky okay now there is another chord that you can use and this is going to be um this is going to be your augmented seven sharp nine and the reason it's called augmented because the uh, the five is sharp. Anytime when the five is sharp, that's your augmented card chord. And anytime when the three is sharp, I mean the two is sharp, or the three is flattened. So this is it's most of the time it's gonna be your sharp nine. That'll be see that's be your flat nine. Anytime you use a sharp nine, you can always use a flat nine. A flat nine is always going to be a, a note above um, the one, and a, a sharp nine is going to always be the note above the, the two. Okay, so you still have your C's here. Okay, now you have E, A flat, B flat. Okay. Um now the four which is D flat you have C sharp F and A flat. You can always add the nine or you can just use it as a grace note. So C sharp F and A. Now instead of having the C's, you can always do something like that. Okay. Okay, now the five. It's gonna be E flat. Okay. Um, E flat. You can do this one. B flat, E flat, F, E flat, E flat's in your left hand. You can also do uh, this one. So B flat, E flat, and G. And I'm just really 
I'm just really taking the five, the three out. And if I wanted to, I could put it here. If I was doing two-handed chords, if I was doing this chord, I would put the G here. If I wouldn't have to play. Or I would just put the dotted tone in my left. Okay, now for the sixth tone, you ha you'll have pretty much your one chord. Anything you use on the one chord, you can use on the six in this in this particular song. But to spell up a, a Pacific chord, you can use C, E flat, and A. Okay. Now you can also use your minor nine chord too in the specific areas. So A flat, C, E flat, and G. Okay. And you can also you don't and instead of using an F an F in your left hand, you can also always use an F, C, and E flat. And if I'm going too fast, too fast, just pause the video while you're writing. Okay, so now the seven. Okay, so seven is gonna be this one. Seven sometimes you can you can just use your five chord. Depending on what the what the what type of role the seventh is playing, the seven is playing. Um, but in this case, you can go. You can always you can almost use your five chord, the chord I showed you, and just put. Have uh, G and F in your left, and B flat, E flat, F, and B flat in your right. Okay. So the only thing that's gonna be different is your 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 notes in the left. That's it. Okay. So now that we got that out the way. Um. It's time to start with the song. So, the intro goes something like this. Okay? And then the uh, transition chord is going to be... So <clears throat> this uh, uh, consists of the progression of three, four, two, three, three, four. Then really it's a six to two progression because you can get instead of going, you can go and you'll be just fine. But there's a walk up from the six to the two to make it to make it more uh fluential. So Okay. So on the three, I've showed you this. Basically, um you could have you can do that as I've showed you. Um but I like to put I like to uh put this chord in my left hand also. I got not only am I playing the bass line, but I'm also playing two other notes. Okay, so uh, on on the C B, uh, C E flat and A, and then your right hand be the same C E flat and A, and then you go to the four, and it. See, see that to me just adds more. It's just more fuller. Instead of just doing that. So, it sounds better to me. I don't know. But then you go.
go to D flat, what you, what you will have is in your left hand, uh, C sharp, F, and A flat, and C sharp, F, and A flat. Then you go to D two. I know I showed you this one. Key the, I have not showed you this one. Okay, I have not showed you this one. Because this one didn't even come to mind until now, until as I was playing, really. So, you can go... Okay, so instead of doing this, we can always do this. In our left hand, we have B flat and F. In our right hand, we have A flat, D flat, E flat, and A flat. And then we go back to the same chord for C. So it goes, I, I'll demonstrate it again. Then you have the six. So in your left hand you have F. Uh, right hand you have C, E flat, F, and A flat. And then you go to your seventh chord. You have uh, G in your left, E flat, G, and B flat in your right. Then you have your one chord. And you have uh, A flat in your left, in your left hand. And E flat, A flat, C. And then you go. Uh, B flat in your left, D flat, F, and A flat. So. Okay, so then you get to the verse. So the verse is a little bit different. Verse is a little bit different. Instead of going, when you get here, you'll go to the five. Okay, so you go five, six, then five, then three, four. Okay, so let's go over that same chords I showed you for three and four. For the five, I'm really just put the diatone in my left hand. Now you can do this, or you can go that. You can do that. You can do that too. So these are all chords I've shown. Okay. Okay, so I don't remember how the how the uh, verse goes, but at some point, he th instead of going to the five six, he goes that. So it goes from E flat E to F sharp. Really, what we would do to call this in jazz, we'll say five sharp five. The only time it was a flat five when you're moving is when you're going down. So whenever you're going up, you go five, sharp five down. So if you're talking to a bass player, you're talking to your band, you say five, sharp five, F. Okay? Now, um, on this sharp five, you have an E diminished seven. Um, to give you a little hint, you can always take the E out your right hand. You don't have to play this. But if you do, that's how it looks. So you got E flats in your left, B flat, D flat, and G. Then you come to your F minor. I showed you this one. So F in your left, C, E flat, F, and A. 
Then you go to two. You gotta hang on. So you gotta you go from here. Now I know I didn't show you this because I forgot. So I showed you this chord. But did I show you this? Yes, yes I did. I still out just in case. So you gotta hang on. So B flat, B flat F and A power chord. Uh, C sharp F, A flat and C. Then you go to the to the major. Uh, D, F and B flat in your right hand. You gotta hang on. Then you go. Then your five. It's a suspended chord. So that means you can be able to play the four chord over the five, because it's still that's what. Anytime it says suspend chord, you uh you can always play the four or the five. Okay, or you can go one of those. So uh, in my left hand I have E's. In my right hand I have E flat, A flat, B flat, and E flat. And my my A flat resolves to a major chord or the five my five major. So that comes to down to E flat, G, B flat, E. So um so uh so it goes this is not the time it's not the time Something like that. This is not the time. This is yeah. Okay, so that's how it goes. Then it goes, sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. So sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. Okay, so. I'm using my power chords here. I'm using the same chord I had over that five. And I'm using. Okay, I'm using. I don't think I went over that, did I? No, I did not. Okay. So I got some more chords to show you guys. I'm sorry, guys. It's, these are just kind of chords that just. I have a habit of using. So. Okay, so in your right hand, it goes so it goes three. Sometimes you win, sometimes you do lose. Uh, it's a part, it's a part of God's plan. It's a, it's a, it's a part of God's plan. Then. So, so on oh, sometimes you win. Sometimes you win. Okay, that's three. So now we have the same suspended chord that we use on the five: the E flat, A flat, B flat, E flat. Um, on your left hand you have C, G, and B flat. Okay. And you can you can go here, and you can use your uh your uh F minor seven. On here, and you see what I did. Or you can go, you can just do this. Okay, you don't have to do what I did. So let me go over those chords. I'm giving you a little bit lecture here. Uh, in low ten, A flat, E flat, and G. Uh, right hand C, E flat, and G. Then you go over to this chord. I showed you this. Um, F, C, and E flat. A flat, C, and E flat. Then you go over to your minor 11 chord. Okay. Okay. Your minor 11 chord. So, and then in your left hand, you have E flat, G, A flat, and C. E flat, G flat, and B flat. Okay. 
Then you go to two, it goes. I showed you that one, but I'll, I'll spell it out. B flat's in your left, A F A flat, B flat, and C sharp. Or you can use spiral chord like that. Then you go, come down. That results to a part of God's plan. So then D flat, F and A. So. Then, and then that's the same suspended chord. You can either, you do this. No, no, I wouldn't do that. I would put that C up here if I was going to do anything like that. So, but you can do this or you can do this. This just sound better to me. Like that. So, in your left hand, you have E flat, A flat, and B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, E flat. And you go down to that five. And then, after the, your transition chord would be that B. Um, it'd be, I don't think I showed you this. It'd be uh, a B diminish 7. And, and you have, um, in your left B, you can also do that. Do something like this, B and F. And you can do this, B, D, and F. And in your right hand, you have B, D, F, and A flat. You go. So that's after you fin you go into the uh, chorus. Actually, it's not the time, the place. Okay. So, um, I demonstration. Okay, so um, on the vamp, so so you get you got not the time, not the place. Just believe in your faith. You gotta learn how to wait. Damn. Um, I forget. It's the transition. Let me teach you the transition uh, to that, I think. I can't remember uh, totally. Um, because... I think that's how it goes. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that, that, that's how it goes. So, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to refresh my mind. There's the whole, the whole place. Uh, uh, there's still something for the something less. Okay, so. Transition chord after you do this. So really, the only thing, because this is really just, to me, I look at this as a three, almost a three six. Um, it's just a transition to something that he's saying to mark the next, uh, the next phrase. So you can almost go just like do something like this. If you're not by yourself, use the chorus that I've just shown you, like which would be uh, your one over three, uh, D flat diminished seven being uh, A flat B E F, then uh, E flat diminished seven B B flat D flat E and G. Okay. 
and then there's a pause in there. So there's two. So you, so you might have to work on that. There's still whole whole play. So if you had a uh, drummer with you, uh, the drummer would accent or uh, define that that pause. So it go. There's a big exclamation mark right there. So now you know we we're going to tell the reason why it's not the time of the place because there's still hope for you. Okay, so. There's still hope for the hopeless. Okay, so now um, you still got the three. But now instead of two going to the three, it goes two goes to the six. Okay? Two goes to the six. So now you have um four. Okay, and see. If you look back at your notes, I've showed you this. So three, four, six. Okay, so C, E flat, A flat, same chords. Um, you have your Bs, uh, D flat, E flat, F, and A flat. And now your uh, six, C, E flat, and A flat. Okay. Then it goes. It's not the time, not the place. So it's not the time, not the place. Believe in your faith. Run away, run away. Uh. Keep hold, keep hold on. Not the place. Just believe in your faith. Sharp four in your left hand, sharp four, five, sharp five, six. Okay. So C, so do this, same chords. D in your left hand for the sharp four. Uh, B flat, D, F, and B flat. And then in your five, B, E flat, E flat, G, and B flat. E flat in your left hand. Um, Sharp five B E, um, E's in the left. Uh, C E G C, and then uh, F in your left. F's uh, C E flat and A flat, and then you go E. You run. You jump on two. Then keep holding on. It does that for a while, and but the ba then the bass line changes. So instead of so on that on that uh, so everything else is the same besides that. So on that. You still have the same chord, but you set a thing, but you'll go down to the B. So do that if you if if you if you if you want. Then so. Um, 
you walk down from B flat, F, I mean A flat, G, and then you'll walk down to the E flat from G, F, E. So, so then, um, in the end, it just it's like. So, all right, so that was not the time or the place. Um, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.